getting ready for chicken processing. Time to open our super handy chicken plucker. Let's see what we have in the super handy chicken plucker. So far, all I've done is taken out four pieces of foam at the top. So, not sure what else we have here, other than wind blowing things where I don't want it to go. Might be easier to pick up from the ground. Getting ready for chicken processing day. Got to assemble our chicken plucker. Just took it out of the box. This is the super handy chicken plucker. Got it off of your favorite big box store. Everything was individually wrapped. Looks pretty simplistic. Not many parts. That's how you know it's an easy assembly. Three legs, two wheels, bottom part, and a drum. Now I did notice, even though everything was individually wrapped, we do have a scuff on here right out of the get-go. Probably shipping where it rubbed, you know, came all the way from China. <clears throat> Looks like it was packed really well, but somehow that still got <clears throat> chipped up. Drum. I mean, this is a good-sized drum. We'll definitely be able to do one bird at a time in here. Um, given how big our birds are, we can probably do, you know, one rooster, one hen. We got a mix. I just did straight run. So I think we got like... Uh, 12 or 13 roosters and seven possibly eight hens we'll see i got 20 total we could definitely do one easily probably two but we'll see as we go let's assemble i guess these are how it latches onto those and this back side is the power on off type of stuff that's my guess so let's get some legs on and put those Whopping two, four, six, eight bolts on. This should be quick. Assembly of the base, really easy. Six bolts, very quick and fast. Spinny wheel for the motor on the bottom. Has a, a tooth on it, obviously. Now the hard part is they put the bottom piece inside the drum. And because there's a groove down here, you probably can't see the, the this drum is upside down, these pieces latch. So this needs taken out, put on the tooth, and then the drum flips over, and these little latchy things latch on. Getting this bottom piece with the, the little fingers out is not as easy as one would think. So far, this has been the ch most challenging part. Let's get that done. Not too bad. It is out. You can see the lip I was talking about. That's the top, so this drum is upside down. I ended up taking it and slowly working it sideways, and then it just pulled straight out. Put it on the bottom, one bolt, so so far we're up to seven bolts to assemble this thing. Theoretically, all I have to do now is put this lid upside right. Huh. Oh, there's an arrow, there's an arrow, imagine that. And another carabiner. I guess they really don't want this thing to unlatch while it's being used. carabiner there you go that's four and that is one fully assembled seven bolts four clips with carabiners fully assembled super 
handy chicken plucker. I'll notice there's a dent right there, unless that dent is on purpose to keep this from wobbling around. Who knows how it got shipped. So, if we come down low, we got this on switch. Spins at a pretty good pace. And like I said, that's big. I bet you we can put two chickens in there. It's got a good size chute. Shoot right here. I mean, that's that's a big shoot. So, I mean, that diameter. So, feather should have no problem going out of there. We shall see. But I'm wondering. Wife had a good idea. Maybe we put the old. Uh, whenever the chicks were chickens were chicks, the old pool, and get some hardware cloth or something so the feathers stay in the pool and the water runs out. Oh, don't do what I just did. I was curious. Do as the sign says, not as I do.